arts and craft of Luzon. Cordillera Autonomous Region Folk Arts. The Autonomous Region is the only landlocked region in the Philippines and home of the indigenous tribes collectively called Igorot. Igorot's artistic expressions also created the Tinalik baskets made from rattan. Binget. It is the homeland of three tribes, the Ibaloy in the southeast, the Kankanai in the northwest, and the Kalangwaya in the east. Their main source of income is through wood carving, basket making, waving, and flower growing. Kalinga and Apayao Kalinga and Apayao used to be a single province until they were split into two better service the needs of the individual native tribes in the provinces. Kalinga people are great wavers. Their cloth waving and basketry are among the finest products in the region. Kalinga textile consists of dominant red stripes and motifs of geometric patterns and symbols with white, yellow, and black fibers. Ifugao Ifugao means people from the hills. That is why non-Cordillerans call them Igorots. Ifugao legends believes that the first grains of rice were given to men by the gods as evidence in their wood carving called bulul. A rice god figure and Ifugao basketry waving for rice storage. Waving in Ifugao is an exclusive task done by women. The Ifugao waved a lion cloth in a process called Ika, with motifs characterized by diamond stripes of white, red, and blue. They are also known for amulets made of beads, gold, bronze, and other materials called Lingling O or Denumug, used as a fertility symbol worn around the neck. Mountain Province It is known for its hanging coffins, mummified bodies, and their Kadangyan burial cloth used to bury rich people. They are also famous for their tattoo art, which is considered clothing and decoration. The people of Buntok are called Greek wavers, known for their different types of the baskets, such as the bubu, akub used for storage, and sukling. Ikat waving is also important among the Buntok people and it is considered as an important part of the Dolly.